We just want the democracy in Bangladesh. We just want a participatory election in Bangladesh. Nothing else is demanded by the opposition. The current regime, led by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, wants to rig the upcoming election at the end of this year. They have rigged the national election in 2014. Only 5% voters voted. 153 out of 300 seats were won uncontested by Awami League. In 2018, the election was rigged to the extent that ballot boxes were stuffed by party members and government officials night before the election. BNP, which is the main opposition, has demanded that the upcoming general election be held under a neutral, non-partisan caretaker government. They also call for the resignation of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina before the election. Polls suggest that majority of Bangladeshis think that an election under caretaker government is the right way forward. Sheikh Hasina knows that her party cannot win the next election unless she has full control over the civil administration and police during the election. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to PBC 24 Television. Since Awami League government came to power, I'm talking about the Bangladeshi powerful party. They are in power for more than 15 years now. And the world has seen their brutal activity on the people of Bangladesh. Begin in Bangladesh, where police are cracking down on anti-government protests, firing tear gas and beating demonstrators on the streets of the capital. Several prominent opposition leaders from the Bangladesh Nationalist Party have been detained. Hundreds of their supporters have been arrested. Demonstrators are demanding the resignation of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. They want an interim government before a general election next year. There is no democracy. They are creating some sort of terrorist activity on the general people. Yesterday there was a road march called by the opposition party, Bangladesh Nationalist Party, BNP. It was very peaceful. It was going for 168 kilometers and it was very popular. BNP Secretary General Jonah Fokul Islam Alungir was leading this road march. This road march from 168 kilometers took six hours to finish. People from the road level, they came and joined to this road march activities. BNP is very peaceful party and they are trying to do peaceful demonstration. But if you have seen so far, since this government came to the power, they are creating some sort of agenda that the opposition party creating violence. But it is not proven that opposition party ever created any problem or any violence. Whenever something happens on the street, bus, buses are burning. The opposition party leaders have been arrested. They are beaten by the hammers. All are proven to be omelic thugs. We have been persuading the whole world that we need to restore the democracy in Bangladesh. We do not want violent demonstration in Bangladesh. People are getting killed or something. That sort of things we don't want to see. We want to see a peaceful restoration of democratic process. What Bangladesh people want, they want free and fair election, inclusive election. All the parties can participate in the election and the general people can vote for it. But so far we have seen for last 15 years, it has been going violent. We condemn this violent activity by the government. They are arresting so many uh, opposition leaders and if they continue to do so, they have to pay the consequences. The international community has come forward. They put sanction on this government RAB, which is Rapid Action Battalion. They put sanction on seven or eight senior members or senior officials from this government. They are brutal. They are taking people away. They're killing them, disappearing them, and putting them in jail uncertain time. There is no hearing or anything. So this is a clear violent activities. This is a clear violation of international laws. We condemn this type of thing created by the government. Opposition party always be patient. So far, last 15 years, we have seen the opposition party, main opposition party is Bangladesh Nationalist Party, led by Begum Khaled Ajia. Because she is in jail, the parties 
uh, led by her son and our favorite leader, Mr. Tariq Rahman. Tariq Rahman is approaching with peaceful sign, peaceful uh, message for the people of Bangladesh. We just want the democracy in Bangladesh. We just want a participatory election in Bangladesh. Nothing else is demanded by the opposition. We do not want anything else right now. But why this government do not want to give a free and fair election, inclusive election where all the parties can attend? This is a clear sign that this government have another conspiracy theory to steal that election. The way they stole the election in 2014, it was violent, very violent before the election date was declared. So opposition did not participate in that election. So what was happened? This government took 154 seats without any opposition party candidates. So they become MP or member of parliament without even having an election. They become selected MP. And then the other seats, remaining 146 seats, those seats have been selected also. There was no election. Nobody went to vote. And then came 2018. They knew that 2018 Bangladesh Nationalist Party is going to join the election. So what they did, they stole the ballot papers from the election commission office and sailed it on our uh, candidate's name and they put in the ballot boxes in the election booth. So this is a clear violation of the election rules. This is a clear violation of international rules. And that's the way they came power twice. Although they were supported by India last two elections, but this year, America took initiative, the Western country took initiative, the European Union took initiative that they want to see free and fair election. We well, obviously support uh, <laughs> democratic institutions in Bangladesh. We support the will of the Bangladesh people. Uh, we support uh, the need for free and fair elections. Nothing's changed about that. We want to see the aspirations of the Bangladeshi people fully realized and the United States will consistently uh, uh, try to champion uh, those, uh, those, those aspirations. So there have been so many pressure going on to this government, but this government is trying to oppress the opposition party so they cannot participate in this election. So the election could be stolen again. That is our point. We do not want a violent situation in Bangladesh. We do not want the election will be stolen again. So please the community, please the world community come and international community come and observe the situation in Bangladesh before the election. We don't want to wait until the election because if the election is stolen, there will be a lot more bloodshed to recover the democratic process. Democratic process. So we want our international community to stop our league now. This is the time to stop them. Thank you very much.